up? So in this video, I want to show you how to get shotguns plague diamond fast in Cold War. So first of all, I'll show you the class setup I'll be using for this video. Um, so these are the attachments. I use the duckbill choke. Uh, you can just read it. Sorry, if you didn't see that. And then I use the uh, ring of fire tier three and I'll get into the strategy. But before I do that, um, before I go into the zombie strategy, what you should be doing, and this is the fastest method to getting, uh, to leveling up your weapon, and the fastest method to getting Plague Diamond, is to play Dirty Bomb and get your weapon level up to 37. So once you get your, and this is optional, you can just do the strategy the whole time, but it's just going to take the longest. So you do want to just play Dirty Bomb, get your weapon level to 37, and then uh, hop into and do the strategy. So the strategy begins by not opening this door. Do not open that door. Open uh, this door instead. And then you also don't want to open the door in there next to Staranup. Up. You don't want to open any of the doors in there. Because this door will open when you turn on power. And then you don't want to open this. So the way you get out of here is by, is by going out this way. But for the first... Um, eight rounds, I do this in every every video I make. You can sit up here, the rounds go faster, and then from here, don't open that door, run down there and get Pack-a-Punch and the perks you want. Okay, so end of round eight, I'm leaving here, I'm going out this way, and I'd follow my route. So, also another tip is always get headshots. So, since you've got your gun to weapon level 37 already, you want to start doing the challenges. And the only two challenges that are difficult are the... Um, also, you can get Jug uh, if you want. I'm not going to get it because I get it when we get it like higher round. But if you want to be safe, get Jug. But yes, yeah, so the two hardest challenges are critical kills. So, always aim for the head. And then also um, elite kills. So once you get the perks that you want and you pack a punch your weapon, uh, come up to the spot where you didn't break uh, the barricade and you can camp here. So what you want to do is just put yourself to the back here. You want to sit right in this corner and just aim right here. And the zombies will literally just line up into your headshot. So you can do this to about round 25. So on boss rounds, you want to use the, um, oh my god, I one shot him, <laughs> the ring of fire. And that's how easy the bosses are to kill. I did have an insta kill and a ring of fire going on, so. Good to note that the Wonder Fizz machine is right behind you in this spot as well. So if you guys know what that is, that's, you can just get any perk from there basically. At round 20 plus, zombies start to spawn in a lot, spawn in a lot quicker and you'll notice that. And there are um, heavy zombies that begin to spawn as well, so just be very careful. My recommendation, and it can be, oh whoops, I didn't mean to grab that mix. My recommendation that can be quite risky is to uh, not actually get any shield or armor. Don't grab any armor. Don't use your salvage for armor, but use your salvage for um, upgrading your weapon instead. That way the heavy zombies only take two hits at high rounds. So remember that the... Uh, Gallo is actually a automatic weapon when you pack a punch it, so you kind of hold it down. This might be the last round that we can survive here. 
um, at this spot because the zombies start getting faster. But to be honest, that was quite cool, especially with these bosses. Oh, okay. So, leave this spot at round 25. <laughs> That's what I would recommend. And so, at round 25, leave that spot up there and come down here. Right. So this is kind of a cool little transition. You can sometimes survive, like, to round 30 up in that top spot, but if you're... I would recommend just coming down here and see how long we can survive down here. So now, uh, round 25 plus to this spot, and... Remember to not open that door or the barricade on the stair over here. And the zombies can only come from there, 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 and you're chilling. I'd recommend sitting in this exact spot here. Just line up the headshots. So this one's quite um, chaotic as you can tell, especially around 30, so what I'm going to do now is show you the strategy that you should do after around 30. So that was really starting to get quite chaotic. So once you start um, being uncomfortable in that position, you feel like you're going to go down, um, come out here. Remember to not open this door and I'll show you the strategy in a second. Okay, so I'm going to show you the strategy for when you come out here into this first room area. What I usually do is go over here to the door and I'll use a ring of fire. And then I just mow through all the zombies. Aiming for the head of course. Okay, but then you gotta be mindful of the ring of fire running out. So I'm running out of it now. And as you can see it's about to run out. And so you wanna start training. The reason why I ran out of the Ring of Fire a little bit earlier than it ran out was because you can get trapped in the, uh, the corner there and zombies are coming from different angles so make sure you're kind of internally counting in your head how long the Ring of Fire lasts for and then um, and then try and get out just before it ends just so you don't get trapped. Alright so that didn't up, um, regenerate the field grade, the field upgrade, meaning the Ring of Fire. But this next horde I kill will um, regenerate the Ring of Fire, so... I'm just gonna do one more lap around them. So once you've got the big horde, you wanna come over here, and you wanna just spray at the head. And you'll find you with the Ring of Fire pretty fast back. Plus, the reason we don't open the door, obviously, so don't, zombies don't come from behind there. I think this round's over, though. It doesn't take very long to get through the rounds at all. Kills, and I've got it. So, round 38. Around there, you should be at 1,700 critical kills. And, um, so that literally only took me an hour to get. So, to get to round 38 in an hour, and to get 1,700 critical kills, and you get about... I'm just gonna uh, leave now. You get about 7 to 9 elite kills. And so, now the strategy is to get into a co-op game. And now, the reason you, got, you do this is because in co-op games, more elite uh, bosses spawn. So, um, we have, what, seven or nine elite kills. So we just need seven more in the co-op, and you need 800 more critical kills. This is just the fastest way, the fastest strategy I've found 
getting plague um, diamond. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I hope the strategy helps you to get plague diamond and then eventually dark ether camo. Um, just to clear up a few things, this weapon here, um, you can use the exact same strategy for it. They're both different shotguns, but they're both extremely powerful, so um, you can use the same strategy and use the same attachments that I made in the video as well, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you.